All right, I am going to show you how to make a 3D box. Uh, it's gonna be open and then I'll show you what we're going to have come out of it. Uh, you'll have a little bit of freedom, but I wanna show you that 3D box first. So grab a pencil and you don't really need a ruler. Um, for this, if you want to, you can. You could get, a, if you don't have a ruler at home, you could do a straight edge of a book or something like that, okay? So in the uh, maybe lower down here in your paper, you're gonna want to draw a rectangle, okay? And that rectangle needs to be equal on the line on the top, needs to be nice and straight and equal to that on the bottom. If it comes out a little bit, you can always erase. We'll do that later, okay? And then here is my rectangle, okay? Now I'm sure there's lots of different ways to draw a box. Uh, I'm just gonna show you another way um, to do that. So the next thing you're gonna do above this rectangle is I'm gonna draw two lines on either side. It almost is starting to look like a, a cake, okay? But I'm not going to make a cake. This is gonna be the other side of the box. And we're gonna make another straight line going across that is parallel to that line, okay? Now, you're gonna start seeing it here in just a second. I'm gonna take a line from the top of this corner to the bottom of that corner, and the top of this corner to the bottom of that corner. And now you can see how we have inside the box, here's the size of the box, the front of the box, and the back of the box, okay? All right, so far so good. The next step is to make about the same length as this line, diagonal going out to the right, over here diagonal going out to the left, and we're gonna draw the same line so that it is parallel to here. Okay, this is gonna be the flap of the box. This line over here, it's parallel here, okay? Now we're gonna connect those to, again, here's this line here is gonna be parallel to here, and this line is gonna be parallel to here, okay? The last lines we need are the front of the uh, lid. So we're gonna draw a line diagonal here and diagonal here, and then we are going to draw straight across. Okay. And then we are going to need to erase these two lines right here. Now I'm going to keep my box black and white and I'm going to do some shading and then I'm going to show you what we're going to put in the box. Okay. We're going to put a rainbow in the box. We're going to use lines and then you can use any kind of lines you want to and then you are going to make a rainbow coming out of your box, and we're gonna see the juxtaposition between color and black and white, okay? Um, so before we start the shading part, I think we'll keep that for the end, okay? The reason why we are not putting a lid over here is because what's coming out of the box is going to be in front of that, and it won't really show anyway. So I want you to think about a line. Um, it could be a curve, a straight line, zigzag, and I want you to draw one, two, three, four, five, seven lines, okay? They don't have to all go the same way, or they can, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna go real simple, and then you be as creative as you'd like to. Um, I'm gonna go up, here's one line, two lines, three lines, four lines, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we're gonna make a rainbow. Actually, let's um, take a Sharpie, if you have one. Let's take a Sharpie and let's outline all of our lines. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and you can make those 
I think that's gonna work out. If it doesn't, we'll always add a line. So let's take Sharpie and I'm gonna outline. You can leave those open or closed. This will be a red line. This will be your orange line, yellow, green, blue, and purple, actually. Purple is going to be right like this. There we go. Okay, and then we can also outline our box, if you want to. And I'll show you how we're going to do some value and some shading. Now remember, you can make your lines any way you want to. I made mine really simple just to kind of give you a start. They can be a variety of ways. All right, so I'm gonna use some Sharpies. You can use any markers you have at home or if you have colored pencils. I could take that line off the page if I wanted to, but I don't. Orange. All right, so for our value, we need our pencil again. And because this flap is coming over this box, there's a shadow underneath there, but it's just right underneath there. It's pretty dark. And this is a special uh, pencil. So it's you can see it's really heavy, it's graphite, uh, but you'll have to, to get that level, you'll want to, um, Oh, go over it several times and kind of press on it. And I could maybe give it a little value. And then on the inside of the box, this is really dark. So we want the inside of our box. And there you have it. All right, I can't wait to see your 3D boxes um, and your rainbows that come out of them. If you want to make um, a cloud at the end of that rainbow, that would be fine. You could, however you want to do that, okay? All right, have fun.